Hey, you guys. <laughs> I'm, I want to see if you can see my sunburn. And that it's getting better today. I, I came on here with that um, shirt on because I wanted you to see. Now, I'm going to tell you a story about how one time I was traveling with my friend Howard to L.A. We were going to take a road trip on my motorcycle. He was on his. Go to L.A. I headed off on my motorcycle. And yes, it's hot in Las Vegas. It was 101 degrees that day. And I was adrenaline pumped. I'm heading down the freeway. So excited because... It, it was a perfect ride. I had put on my big Memphis shade so that I wouldn't be buffeted by the wind uh, at all because he likes to go about 80. He told me I was going too slow when I was going 75, but <laughs> that was fast enough. I actually prefer 55 on the bike because anything other than that, you're pretty much holding on a little tighter. And I like... Anyway, I want to tell you this story. This is what happened. Howard and I were traveling to L.A. from Las Vegas. I'm telling you this story because yesterday I came on here to tell you about how I believed I was going to be dehydrated from working a landscaping job yesterday. Now, I was excited to be at this landscaping job. My supervisor provided an excellent self-propelled lawnmower and I never used one before and I loved it. I have a riding lawnmower at my house. It's it's just one I picked up off the curb, but his self-propelled lawnmower was pretty spectacular and I enjoyed that part of the job. That took like an hour and a half to do three front yards and then uh, the task was to drop some seed and cover it with hay before you know it, no, my supervisor visor wasn't there. And he came back after I was on the job for about two and a half hours. And he did some work also for an hour because he could see that it was a big task. And he needed to help me if we were ever going to get out of there. Anyway, after an hour, <laughs> he was pretty sunburned himself and pretty hot. But after two and a half hours, I put on a long sleeve shirt to cover up the burn that I saw that I was getting. And, and after he joined me, he said, would you mind taking your motorcycle up to the store to get us some, get me some water? Because I had already had one bottle of water per hour and he had none. So I went to the store and I downed another 32 ounces of water once I was at the store, came back, and I had another 32 ounce bottle of water for myself. The point of the story is when I got on the motorcycle and went to the, the quick stop, the gas station, I felt a little, a little wobbly, just a little. But when I had been traveling with my friend Howard from Las Vegas to L.A., after 100 miles on the freeway, we got off to fill up with gas, and I was a little more than wobbly. I'm thinking, I'm dehydrated. And he was not. He's a guy. I don't know. Guys don't dehydrate. But I told him, I, I know that it's not safe for me to go any further. I needed to drink a lot of water, and then I was concerned. So on the way back, I, I turned around. He, you know, he's like, Sorry, you can't make it. And I turned back around to go to L.A. Of course, he said, you know, text me when you when you get home so I know you got home safe. Seriously, there's a story about like an angel coming out of the desert um, telling me to put on my leather jacket. This happened after I stopped at a gas station going back to Las Vegas <laughs> because I was dehydrated. And this guy, really, I believe it was an angel, he told me, put your leather jacket on. Do you have a leather jacket in that duffel bag? Yes, I do. Put it on. It's 101 degrees. He's like, put it on. It'll keep you cool. The sweat inside there keeps you cool. So, so remembering this story and how that saved my life, I put on a sweatshirt that I had in my 
saddlebag when I was doing landscaping yesterday and it actually went up to the neck zipped up so you know I could stop getting my body burned anyway because that's not healthy and that's what I did and you know after four hours we did head home but I remember the time that I came home from that trip to California and went to sleep that night and I had the shakes I had flu like symptoms I was so dehydrated you know the potassium had left my body and my body was not okay aches and pains so I had that idea and I was only on the motorcycle for an hour and a half without the leather jacket and um, but another hour and a half with it on and yesterday it was four hours um, in the sun but it's cooler here it's 80 81 degrees so it doesn't feel as hot as Las Vegas and I just wasn't aware that I was gonna hurt myself but when I went to sleep last night I remembered that um, I didn't want to have those same symptoms and be dehydrated even though I I really rehydrated before I headed back on my motorcycle yesterday so my point is I have CBD oil now in my life so I put coconut oil all over my sunburn and then I put a couple of drops of CBD on That was, uh, you guys, did you see that? You can't act like that. Go outside. I have to punish her. I went to shut her up and she was a jerk. Oh my goodness. Oh, go. All right, so <laughs> CBD keeps me calm too, obviously, because that happened. I'm glad you didn't see that. I'm glad I didn't have the phone in my hand because she, because uh, I, I reprimanded her just a little too, too quickly. So, but she didn't attack me. She didn't bite me, but she acted like she was gonna, if you heard that. <laughs> so, yeah, don't be distracted and reprimand your dog if you've got one like mine. Anyway, she'll get, she, it's what it is. She didn't, she didn't, I, I could see that I upset her. So I just walked away from her retaliating on me and I'm okay because I have CBD in my system. But my point about this live tonight was to tell you that CBD, it balances out your body. When your body's inflamed, when your body's in pain, when something's going wrong with your body, you have to put your endocannabinoid system to work your endocannabinoid system is already working for you but when you're an athlete or when you're working extra hard you need to supplement with extra CBD if you've got extra CBD and you add it to your endocannabinoid system then you are going to have results like I had last night I didn't I, I didn't wake up I wasn't feverish I I woke up really really feeling good I was concerned, so I had told my supervisor that I probably wouldn't be able to work today, and I didn't want to put my skin in the sun again. Look at the muscles I'm getting, you guys. Well, check it out. You guys, she knows she did something wrong. All right, so my subject is please get yourself some of my CBD oil because there's all kinds out there now because everybody's seeing how miraculously it's working on people's bodies, and they're going out and they're getting some but please get the right stuff so that you don't feel like oh I tried it it doesn't work for me because it works for everybody if you get pure CBD oil like the kind I sell hemp works I'm reading Natalie's comment yeah yes yeah when I look down at my skin and saw that it was red I thought what is wrong with me I didn't you're feisty you're more than feisty you know you were naughty but see I'm as aggressive as she is and I had I think I grabbed her mouth to shut her up because yesterday she was getting a little rough 
and I get the muzzle out and if she still acts like she's not responding to the muzzle I show her I'm gonna hold your mouth shut so I think that's what I did when I reprimanded her but I'll have to play this back to see how that sounded because you know I didn't I didn't take her confrontation as a battle I just ignored it and it that's one of the things I've learned in the behaviorist modeling <laughs> uh, DVDs that I'm reading about training this crazy dog. So anyway, yes, I don't want to damage my skin. I took the day off. I wasn't in the sun today. I, I hung out in my backyard with my hammock and with my dog. And uh, she's going to behave. She knows she was wrong. But anyway, I'll show you our setup. It rained today. It's dark. It rained today, you guys. It rained after I was laying in this hammock. Oh, so. I never locked it all the way. This is what she does. This is what she does to our yard. All right. So, but look at my new setup. This part of the yard has still got grass because she doesn't dig over here. I have this hammock. The hammock up. And I was laying in that and then it started to rain. I went in the house to do some laundry, came back out, and I'm like, oh, the hammock got wet. But yeah, we have a nice little setup here. All right, you guys. My CBD oil has changed my life and it has allowed me to feel... Um, younger at 60 and most people people shouldn't be feeling older at 60 we're supposed to live to 120 the bible says so you're halfway there you shouldn't be crouching over and not feeling okay all right i'm gonna sign off for now i'm gonna read the comments i have to go back in though to see them so thanks you guys for watching my crazy girl yep she has she has uh her synopsis did not connect because she was left in a cage making babies. And so she's used to constantly, I was, you know, I was really observing Stacy Bishop, whose dog just had puppies. And even her sweet dog was protective of the puppies. And you can imagine my rescue dog. She was set up in a cage, and they just kept constantly taking her babies away from her. And I don't know how they handled her, but she does not like to be handled abruptly. And um, so I keep that in mind when I when I have her hanging around with her. Are you okay? You're all right? Come here. It's okay. She knows she overreacted, you guys. All right, I'm going to say good night. You guys have a great rest of your holiday weekend oh it's tuesday already my schedule's different all right i'll read your comments after i get off <laughs> love you thanks for watching me natalie i've been watching you too yeah that's only my side yard natalie that's my side yard here's my front yard Never mind. You don't like to go outside, remember? I'm going to go out without you, stay. All right, let me show you my backyard this way. We have a screened in porch. Screened in porch. There's the backyard. The backyard is over there. It is actually um, a ravine, and wild animals go through there. There's my north side of the yard. There's the south side of the yard. That's where she's fenced in. And then there's the front yard. So the Lord really blessed me with this house when I came to take care of my mom. And she loved the house too. And we have those great memories together. Why don't you hang out with me? So here's the front yard. Here's my crazy girl. Here's the front yard. After I came home from doing the grass at the, um, the job, I also came home and did my own grass. But yes, I'm very blessed. This is my front yard. Front yard. 
Raspberry bushes. Okay. My bedroom window with those old fashioned open window um, that they, they open. All right. Bye for now.